Hi, and welcome to Averse Cloud Solutions Tips and Tricks for Zero Ninjas. Your Zero Ninja Master for today is Kirsten Blake. Hi guys, in today's session we're going to be deep diving into the new uh, online quoting feature that Zero has recently brought in and looking at how that integrates seamlessly into uh, the online invoices. To get to quotes and sales invoices, we go to the accounts tab and drill into the sales module. Under the sales uh, main screen now, you can see it broken into invoices and quotes here. So let's go ahead and enter a new quote into the system. Click on new and go to the quote button. So we go ahead and enter in our detail, the date of the quote. And if you want this quote to have an expiry date, you can put that in. So let's make it um, plus 30 days. The quote number, now this defaults from system settings, but if you needed to here, you could also edit the quote number. A reference if you had it, this could be perhaps a job number, a street reference, anything that would be meaningful that will help you with searches later on. The theme is the same as, uh, as for invoices, so it is a background um, theme for the quote itself when it comes out. So we're going to pick the very orange theme. A great feature with the new quotes is that we can add in a title and a summary. So in this case, we're going to look at uh, doing a web development project. Oops. So again, the item features is the same with the invoices. If you have items set up in Zero, you can use them here. So we're going to do some development work at a day rate here. For now, we're quoting them two days to do this work on a cheap website. Same as with invoices, you can drag and drop the item lines to get them in the order that you'd like them to appear. Down here, you can add your terms and conditions. And that's all there is to entering the quote. So at this stage, we have a number of different statuses for the quotes, just as with invoices. We can save it as a draft if we are not quite finished, um, and obviously save and continue. If we're happy with the quote, we can also send it this stage. So let, let me just save it for now, and we'll go back and have a look at what that looks like. So down here now, you can see we've got one quote sitting in drafts. Go into that now. We're ready to send it. We need to actually um, approve the quote and then get it ready for sending. So drill into it and just click on the send button here. Now this information uh, is coming from the customer card. This here is the default email set up in Zero for sending quotes out. It's a basic template. All of these templates are editable. For now, I'm happy. That. I'm going to send the copy to me so that I know it's been sent. If we just jump over into Gmail, you can see now that the email has already been received by the client. Click into that. Hi Artie, thanks for inquiring. Here's the quote. The quote's actually attached as a PDF at the moment, um, but we can also send him to view the quote online. And before we go and look at this any further, I just want to go back and create a second quote. What I want to do is copy this quote, then copy it to a new quote, so you can uh, see the difference in statuses. It's our second email there, so it's really quite quick. You can see. When our client viewed this first one online, you can see the quote here, you can view the attached PDF, you can accept the quote, decline the quote, or make a comment here. You can see what's happened. So this, this quote's been created, edited, and sent. We've copied the quote. The quote was viewed, this was very important, by, by our client and then our client sent us a message back. So this is the reason that we want to start using the online feature of quotes and invoices in Zero and, and get out of the habit of attaching PDFs 
allows us to have um, direct engagement with the climate via this zero portal. Just while I'm here, I'll show you a couple of other things on this page. So we can see that there's one item selected here with that value, but in total we've got quotes in the system to the value of $9,460. Uh, we can accept, decline and copy quotes. We can also from here send, print and delete quotes. So right now I'm going to accept this quote. Great, well done, it's accepted. So now we've got the quote sitting in our accepted box. And once the job's done and we're ready to invoice, it's a very simple uh, step to invoice this quote now. So you can now see we're creating an invoice here or marking it as invoice. So we'll create one in this case for the invoice This is our now our, our standard invoice screen in Zero. We're going to invoice it as of today's date. Just like this being the same date as the quote, but not necessarily so. Uh, unique invoice number here. The reference is the quote number, so you've always got to match back to the quote, unless of course you go and change that. And at this stage, you may want to add a couple of the extra things in which they know about. It's so one thing that we're going to do at this stage, and you can also do this in the quote itself. Um, we're actually going to drag the quote document in here. So you see this little box here. It allows us to attach files to that against the transaction record. We can either add them from files that we've got in the system, so we might have a standard engagement uh, letter, which would be stored in zero. This is where we go to get it. And we can upload files from our computer, or the easiest way is just to drag and drop them in. Now at this stage, you can see now we have one file associated with this particular invoice. At the moment, it's just there for our reference. It won't be sent with the invoice. If we do want it to go to the client with the invoice, all we need to do is click in here, click the little cog, and click on include with invoice. Now we're happy with this, we're going to approve it, and we're going to send it to the client. Now, with this client that is actually using Xero, so we've got them set up through our Zero to Zero network. All that means is when we uh, when we click on this, the invoice will actually create in the, in the, uh, the client Zero file itself. We may not want to do this now with you um, online invoicing, and I'll show you the difference in a minute. Now I'm going to click yes. Again, it's going to demos. And you can see here now we've got this file included to send with the invoice. And the options we have here is to include files as, as attachments, include a PDF attachment, which is the, uh, will be the invoice itself, send it via the Zero Network and send a copy to myself. So I always send a copy to myself. Um, I'm actually going to click not to send by the Zero Network in this case, by asking the client to use the online features of Zero now to have a look at this invoice. So I'll send that. You see the emails being sent successfully. If we go back into invoices awaiting payment here, we can see that we've got the current invoice there it's sitting as sent, and there's one attachment to it. Now, click over into our email again. Here's our invoice now that we've just received. There are no file attachments here, as you can see, so you can't actually open the PDF. What he needs to do is click onto the link here. The beauty of this now is that if we have a payment feature set up in our Zero file, which is very easy to do, they can pay directly through the online invoice. They can print the PDF from here if they need to. They can export it to, to CSV. They can also now see the attached document that was sent and open that up. We're just going to save this for now. And what will happen is this will save within the client's Zero file. So I'll just save this within the test organization. And this is me, the client, looking at this now. If I wanted to, I could go and view that in my zero file. So this is our client now. Let's just go into purchases in this case. See here under drafts, invoice that we've just pushed in from the vendor company. So the benefits of doing it uh, in the way that we've just demonstrated via a zero link in the invoice as opposed to an attached PDF is that when the client goes and, and clicks on save, as we saw before, 
it automatically creates the, um, the invoice as a drafting net system and it attaches uh, a link to the, to the invoice and, and all of the um, uh, supplementary attachments and documentation as well. They don't have to go and, uh, and drag and drop anything into the invoice to save it with the invoice. So let's just quickly go and have a look now at our own file. Now that our client has viewed it, we can see now that the status here is changed to view. So we know the client has actually viewed the invoice at this stage. Obviously a great advantage when you're only out chasing outstanding debtors and they say they haven't got the invoice, we actually know they've not only got it, but they've viewed the invoice in this case. So that's it for the, for the new online quoting feature in Xero. You can see that it is uh, very versatile, it's very streamlined, it's very easy to use and uh, really goes a long way to improving productivity both for yourself and for your clients. Old style desktop bookkeeping is a thing of the past. Online bookkeeping is fast becoming the only way to keep your business moving with the times. So call the bookkeepers and cloud application specialists with a head for business. Your business, not just for the figures. With streamlined and automated cloud-based administration systems at your fingertips, you will be able to enjoy more time doing what you really love. Call us now. Ava's Cloud Solutions. Call the bookkeepers with a head for business.